Hi guys, it's Harry from Kickstart Commerce and I'm here today with another tutorial for you. So today I'm going to do a quick tutorial showing you how to use the uh, built-in homepage carousel feature in your BigCommerce store. Um, so this feature allows you to put in uh, images, uh, headings, titles and then link those to particular pages on your site. Um, and the fundamentals of this work the same in any theme across the big commerce universe. Um, so it, your display will differ slightly depending on your theme, but the way you control it will be the same uh, throughout. So let me uh, show you an example. If you go to storefront and then homepage carousel, you have uh, this uh, editor here. So you can put up to five images in. Um, I'm gonna put three in as an example. Right, so we'll go with uh, some nice sunny beach images. There's one. There's two. And there is three. Righty ho. So if we put in here heading example, text example, and button example, um, this preview here isn't exactly how it will show on the front end. Um, it's it's not as uh, straightforward as that. But you can change it all in here and then see how it changes on the front end so if we had that if we did the same for these so heading example two text example two and button example two same with these heading example Three text example three and button example three. Right, so if I just move myself out of the way there and save. Now if we go on to the front end of your site here is the carousel we have. So here's the first one. Um, it shows a uh, shows up in a little box. You can have a heading, a title, and then a link to uh, a particular page. The whole actual image is clickable, um, which is quite good. So it allows anyone to you can click anywhere to get to the landing page. So. That is how it looks on there. And one thing to note is that the images, uh, the recommended size is about 1,200 pixels by 600 pixels. Um, so something around that is ideal. Now, uh, you can edit this box color, the button color, the text color. Um, you can take the arrows off. So I'll show you that quickly as well. Um, so after you've made your changes in here, you can add a link obviously to where you want where you want it to uh, end up. And then if you go into the theme editor, so if we go into here, my themes and then customize. And then if we go down to the little paint palette here um, and go onto home page, there is this whole section here under carousel where you can uh, turn off the arrows, you can change the the box. So let's pick something pretty horrible for now, maybe a bright yellow. Header text can be um, black on yellow. Do that as an example. Um, and then I think further down, buttons and icons, you can change, um, you 
can change the buttons and stuff like that. It, the easiest way to do this is to, to find out which color, um, potentially using a color picker, find out which color the button is. So it's uh, 444. Four, four. And then if you look down this list, you'll find the one that is 444 four, four will change that button color. So for the sake of this, if we change the button color to blue, for example, and after we've made these changes, we can publish. Right, so there we go. We have the uh, box is now yellow. The text is black. The secondary text we didn't change and the button is now blue. You can obviously change the hover color. Um, there's loads of settings to play around with. But yeah, that is just a quick a tutorial on how to do that. So if you guys have any questions about this subject in particular, or you have any suggestions for another tutorial, then uh, drop it in the comments and we'll look at getting it done soon. Thank you. Bye.